We've been talking about scams and fraud and deception. There's a famous book that some people claim is filled with deception, contradictions, myth, and fiction. Some claim that it's a powerful book that has led people off into an irrational religion of blind faith. This book is the Bible. Look at the claims of the most famous person in the Bible, Jesus Christ. People say that, well, Jesus was a great teacher, and he is. People say that he showed us how to love one another, and he does. People say his life is the role model where to follow, and it is. But, but, if Jesus is a liar, or if he was crazy, then none of this is true. He can't be a great teacher if he was not teaching truth, if he just made stuff up. Jesus straight out claimed to have the attributes of God. He claimed to be God. He did things that only God can do. That means he's either a liar, a lunatic, or our Lord God. In the Gospel of John, the facts are laid out. John demonstrates that Jesus is God, and that what Jesus taught about us is true. We're sinners. That means we've broken God's laws. And you know what? Our conscience tells us that that is true. The question isn't, have you ever told a lie? It is, how many lies have you told? How many times have you taken things that don't belong to you? How many times have you looked at another person with lust? You see, Jesus said in Matthew 5 that if you look with lust, you've committed adultery in your heart. Those are just three of the Ten Commandments. The Bible tells you that if you have broken just one of God's laws, it is as if you have broken them all, and you deserve the just punishment, God's wrath, eternity in the lake that burns with fire and sulfur. But God so loved the world, God so loved you, that he gave his only son. Christ died on the cross. You see, the penalty for disobeying God is the death penalty. But Christ died on the cross, taking the full punishment for all that you've done wrong. In every way that you've disobeyed God, Christ took that punishment on himself. And he did this as a free gift for you. Now, if it's a gift, you have to accept the gift and believe that he's really given you this gift. And God does not force you to accept this gift. God does not force you to believe any of this is true. But if you truly trust Jesus Christ, if you truly trust that he paid the penalty you owe for disobeying God, that you owe for everything you've done wrong, if you believe Jesus Christ paid the penalty you earned and you repent, which means to turn away from disobeying God and make him your boss, your Lord, then you get all of this as a free gift. And to prove this is true, Jesus Christ not only died, and there's no doubt that he was dead. The Romans were experts at this. Jesus was dead. He was buried. And then to prove that everything he promised is true, on the third day, he rose from the dead, showing you, proving to you, demonstrating that everything, everything he said was true. And there truly is life after death. Life that you can have if you trust that Jesus fully paid your death penalty. That he died in your place so you can live. That's why John 3.16 is such an important verse. It summarizes all of this. For God so loved the world. For God so loved you. That he gave his only son, Jesus, to die on the cross that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Eternal life is yours if you trust Jesus as your Lord and Savior. So please, please put your trust in the one who is trustworthy, Jesus Christ. Trust Jesus.